Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects. Again with you, I'm Psycho, and today we are going to be, I'm going to be reviewing the second part of the Harry Potter series games, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So, let's just get on to it. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna start with the story as usual. Um, the second part of Harry Potter and, well, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets um, takes us on a story of Harry in the right, Harry and his friends is. in the second year of of Let's his um, Secret mirror. how should we call Hi. it of his education Ooh, if we can call it education um, and discovering stuff um, around Hogwarts. Um, the story, uh, the game follows the the story from the books and um, and the movie as well. Um, it's pretty much the the same story as it was in the books. Some details are left out, but um, the general story is pretty much covered throughout the throughout the whole game. Um, as well, the story begins with Harry arriving to Hogwarts in his second year um, and crashing the crashing the car with Ron into the Weeping Widow. Um, and, well, um, the story end continues on with Harry and his friends um, discovering stuff around Hogwarts, um, adventures happen, everything, and in the... and everything is connected to the Chamber of Secrets. Um, the Chamber of Secrets is then later revealed in the game and is um, and is pretty much the whole story of the game. And after discovering the Chamber of Secrets and discovering what's inside, I'm not going to spoil it for you if you don't know it yet. Um, Harry and his friends kind of um, save the day again and become the heroes of Hogwarts. So, um, as far as the gameplay goes, the gameplay hasn't been changed much since the first part. Um, there are still um, classes and discovery options throughout the game. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of hidden stuff, around Hogwarts, around the stages that you go um, later on. Um, there are, I think, two spells for each of the characters that you, that you need to learn um, throughout the game and proceed on with using those spells to discover the Chamber of Secrets and see what happened um, throughout the the history of Hogwarts and what is happening now on the on the um, on Hogwarts. Um, so yeah, as for as goes for the difficulty, the difficulty of the game isn't really high. Um, it's pretty much a game where you can focus more on the story and the enjoyment of the series which you have probably read or at least watched the movies because of its popularity and everything. That's pretty much why the game also came out. It's kind of a game made for for kids and people who well who are just discovering the Harry Potter series or for people who who would like to reminisce the um, the past and and discover Hogwarts again be be in the role of the protagonist and kind of see how everything folded out in the in the events oh my god that's a phoenix i love those birds all right um so yeah as far as the graphics go the it's a pretty old game but the graphics are pretty good pretty well made for the time it was released um it was released i think about 10 years ago or something like that and it is still awesome the graphics look really good, though. Um, if we if we take into consideration that it's a really old game, and the third person, um, the movement and everything was really well made for for those years. Not a lot of games have that um, that kind of style and that kind of gameplay. Um, so yeah. Oh my God, that's a snake. It's a dancing. All right. Um, I may have put some spoilers in the video. I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah. This is pretty much at this part. Um, this is pretty much the most difficult part in the game. The final fight against the basilisk in the in the chamber of secrets um, at the end. So yeah, um, in my opinion, the game is a really awesome game, especially if you are a Harry Potter series fan like I am. 
Um, so I recommend it to all of you guys who are fans or that just like the third person magic kind of genre. So yeah, that's gonna be all from my side. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.